Instead, Groat thought, what if he ignored those constraints to build a tank so big that it could not cross bridges, go on rails, roads, or through tunnels? But before there was the mouse, there were the designs of Ed Eddard Groat, a German national. He started designing breakthrough tanks for the Soviets in 1930. Uh, but with tanks of the time constrained by the dimensions of railways, bridges, and roads, they could only be so wide, so high, and so heavy. Instead, Groat thought, what if he ignored those constraints to build a tank so big that it could not cross bridges, go on rails, roads, or through tunnels? Um, with six sets of one meter wide tracks carrying twin 152 millimeter guns, plus a pair of 122 millimeter guns, plus more 45 millimeter guns, it was designed to have a crew of 40 and weigh 1,000 tons or 872 tons, but that doesn't sound as cool, so you just round it up to 1,000. And able to go 60 kilometers an hour. <laughs> he got challenged on the idea by the Soviets and improved his plans, but the only part that he couldn't overcome was the need for a 2,000 horsepower engine. And then in June 1942, Grote presented a paper on so Soviet super heavy tanks to their little corporal, and was able to get backing for the sketch design of a 1,000 ton tank that would be called the Land Cruiser P. In October 1942, Krupp said, no, no, all our guys are busy, building tanks that might actually get built. 